Hi everyone, it's Brad Filipponi from BoxBrownie.com. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a virtual tour for real estate. I'll be showing you the complete process, including what 360 camera to buy, how to set up your camera, how to prepare the house, how to shoot the house with a 360 camera, how to get your images edited professionally, and of course, how to create a virtual tour. By the end of this video, you'll easily be able to create a professional virtual tour, even if you're not tech savvy or if you've never created one before. Okay, so let's get into it. Step one is what 360 camera and tripod should you buy? At the time of making this video, I highly recommend buying the Ricoh Theta Z1 if you want the best quality possible. If you are on a smaller budget, then I can recommend the Ricoh Theta V. For a tripod, I recommend using a newer light stand as they're super affordable, very sturdy, and they won't easily fall over like a lot of the more expensive monopods on the market. I also use a newer ball head attachment, which is between the tripod and the 360 camera. This allows me to be able to angle the 360 camera correctly if I'm shooting on slope ground. All right, so step two is setting up your 360 camera. Now, before I get into this, there are a whole bunch of 360 camera models out there. So I can only give you the universal settings of what to use. First, you want to pair up your 360 camera to your smartphone using the designated app that comes with the camera. Once your 360 camera is paired to the app, you want to enter the following settings. Make sure your ISO is set to the lowest number possible. In our case, it's 200. Never set your ISO on high or on automatic, as you'll most likely produce a lot of grain in your photo, which never looks good. For your image size or image resolution, make sure it's set to the highest number possible. In our circumstance, it's 6720 times 3360. You also want to make sure you turn on the HDR function if your camera has this. Turning this on will make a huge difference to the detail and the clarity of the shot. Okay, so let's move on to step three, which is how to prepare the house. It sounds easy, but you'll be surprised at how much the difference the little things can make. Always turn on your lights, including the range hood in the kitchen. Straighten up your furniture, such as chairs and bedspreads. Open up your doors to create more space and flow in your shot. If there is greenery or a view outside, you want to open up your curtains and also the blinds. Make sure you remove unnecessary clutter as well, such as bath mats, shampoo bottles, kitchen bins, and tissue boxes. Less is more in regards to real estate photography. So once the house is prepared, we can proceed to step four, which is how to shoot a property with a 360 camera. So, if you're a real estate agent or a property photographer, you'll want to shoot the house quickly and efficiently. To do so, place your camera in the middle of the room and make sure it's sturdy. Go and hide in another room so you're not in the shot. Then you want to use your phone to have a quick 360 scan around the room to make sure everything looks good and nothing is in the way. If the shot is too bright or too dark, adjust your exposure value accordingly so it looks good to the eye. Then press the shutter to take the photo. If you've never taken a 360 photo before, just be aware that they do look stretched out compared to your conventional photo. All right, so once you've taken your first shot, you wanna rinse and repeat this technique. Do the bathroom, the kitchen, the bedrooms, the outdoor areas. Also, you wanna make sure to shoot the hallways as well. This is because when you build the virtual tour, it's good to have a hotspot in the hallway as it creates a better end user experience. It should only take you about 20 minutes to shoot an entire house using this method. Okay, so once you've taken all your photos, step four is getting your images edited. Now look, this step is actually not essential, but it is highly recommended if you want your marketing to pop. I'm going to put a couple of images on the screen to show you how much of a difference editing your 360 photos can make. 
To do so, you simply have to log into boxbrownie.com, choose our 360 image enhancement, load up your photos from your photo shoot, and then submit your job. Within 24 hours, we'll then send you back the completed images ready for you to create a virtual tour. Which leads me to the last step, building your virtual tour. To do so, simply log on to the boxbrownie.com dashboard and click on 360 virtual tours. Upload your pictures and name each photo to which area it is. You even have the option to upload your floor plan, which will show the final product in the bottom left-hand corner. Once everything is uploaded, simply click on submit and you are done. Within 24 hours, you'll receive a link to your virtual tour, which is completely interactive. You can click from hotspot to hotspot, or if you want, you can simply spin around in each room. If you uploaded a floor plan, you can click on this button down here to view it, or simply click on this button here to easily jump to another room. All right, well, there you have it. That is our quick tutorial on how to create a virtual tour for real estate. If you've never created a virtual tour before, it is super easy using the boxbrandy.com platform. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or email us at hello at boxbrownie.com. Hey everyone, just a quick one. If you haven't tried boxbrownie.com before, then I would love to offer you four free photo edits. All you have to do is click on the free edits button, then create a new account. There's no credit card required on sign up and there's no subscription fees. So simply click on the free edits button now to claim your four free photo edits.